The 2023 Halloween event just released a few hours ago. And today in this video, I'll be showcasing you how to unlock everything new added to the game and find the secret items. Also at the end of the video, I will be telling you how to enter my Halloween event giveaway. So make sure to watch till the end. Like I previously stated in my last video, the Undead Legends brought zombies to the Wild West. And to even get started on unlocking the event items, we will need the Extractor. The Extractor is used to get the blood of animals and zombies. Using the Extractor, we would be able to hunt the legendary Halloween demon, the Skinwalker. But first, to get the Extractor, visit the newly updated church area near Bronze City. There you will see a huge tower that consumes and gives electricity. If you head over to the church, you'd see a young boy who is of no use to us, so ignore him for now, and head down to the below depths of the graveyard. To find yourself his father, Dr. Lazarus. He will firstly give you a quest to gather him two electrified items. In simple terms, he wants two thunderstruck items like tea logs and tea cactus. Upon giving him what he desired, he will start his way to advanced scientific wannabe time machine with the help of his now semi-useful son. But soon, things go downturn and zombies started coming from the dead. This leads to the son giving you the extractor to save his father. Now your goal is to hunt down 50 of the most deadly zombies and gather their essence to save Dr. Lazarus. It's pretty straightforward to hunt the zombies. Around the map, zombies can spawn anywhere except spawn points and your goal is to kill them and extract their blood. To extract their blood, you need to get, get at least 50 vials from this spot. Upon extracting 50 zombies, you return to the sun and he will save his father. And in return for your hard work, you are given the Mad Scientist set and the Lightning Model 3. The Lightning Model 3 and the normal Model 3 aren't the same, like other event items. They do the same damage, but the Lightning Model 3 shoots nearly twice as fast with faster reload speed. It is right now my new favorite gun. Now it is time we hunt down the legendary demon of the realms, the Skinwalker. The Skinwalker has the ability to pull you towards it and it deals 20 damage per hit. And did I forget to mention it has the capability to hit you when you are ragdolled? To spawn it, you firstly have to gather the blood extracts of a bear, bison and deer. For the bison, spawn at Puerto Dorido and kill the bison near spawn and extract his blood. For the bear and deer, you can hunt them both at Tribal Forest. But be warned, there is a very dangerous cult at Tribal Forest which can instantly kill you as a team. 
we will take care of them near the end so stay tuned after killing each of the animals gather their blood extracts and wait till it's 6 pm and summon the skinwalker at tribal forest remember it only spawns if you're alone in tribal forest if any other player is there it won't spawn it is very tough to kill without any strategy or tactic But the community has already found a glitch to easily kill it. After luring the skinwalker to reservation camp, go near the walls of the stairs here and make him hit you once. You will be ragdolled and glitched behind and underneath the stairs. Afterwards, you'd be out of his range and you're free to use whatever gun to kill him. I personally use the Lightning Model 3 because it can reload fast and shoots extremely fast. Upon killing him, he would drop 4 different bone parts of his body. Pick it up and take it to the reservation camp chief and he will reward you with exotic items. Arranging from a very deadly spear and bow to different masks. The skinwalker doesn't drop them all the time so it will take you some time to gather each and every one of them. Next we have a quest line for Jane. Jane is a skilled duelist who is right now hunting the Windigo to avenge his fallen friend. To get the secret item from her, you have two choices. A. Help her hunt down the Windigo. To go down this path, you firstly have to encounter a Windigo which isn't a 100% chance per night and finally kill it and get its body bones as evidence. I know some of you are still going to face trouble killing it. A easy strategy I created was to lure the Windigo near Bronze City fences or the Callahan Ranch fences and there you'd be able to kill him easily when you get him stuck inside the fence area though. Just watch out when he tries to teleport to you. And if you don't want to go extra work hunting it down, you can go the other path. Option B, where you kill Jane to loot her dead body. If you're going down this path, I recommend taking the high ground. Jane uses a new shotgun so she won't be able to kill you if you're camping somewhere high. Afterwards, she has the chance to grant you Occult Sof, Occult Mule and lastly, Legendary Demon Hunter set, which looks dope. Next up, we got the Occult Blade. To unlock this, you have to hunt down a demon level zombie inside the map called Demon Hunter Carter. He mule spams and can run at a very high speed. He has the chance to drop a Occult Blade. To kill him, just angle abuse and spam your weapons. Personally me, I recommend the Hard Fort because it is easy to click with it. Now that you have gotten the necessary armory and weaponry, it's time to go after the cult who are living inside tribal forest. They are going to outnumber you easily and they don't joke around. Upon seeing you, they will start bow spamming you and if you try to melee them, they start kukri spamming you. So you must be smart in order to beat them. 
Personally, me, I only got IQ of 120, but even with the IQ of 90, I would be able to figure out it's the Roblox game and their NPC AIs have to be bad. This is the strategy I created. Firstly, go up this huge stone area and start beaming the cult lady's boyfriends. There are three of them, so it may take you some time if they are in some bad angle. Afterwards, get the lady's attention by going near her and she will follow you to the rock area where you can easily angle abuse to kill her. Upon her death, she drops the lightning curve bow and you unlock the cultist set. And congratulations on eradicating a Wendigo cult. Lastly, we got the RNG items. After you've made it so that zombies start spawning, there is a chance of a special zombie to spawn. They got red name tags and have the chance to drop the flood lantern and assorted cosmetics. That's pretty much everything useful and important to you for now. Now to enter my giveaway, firstly make sure you're subscribed. I won't be handing out the prizes to some strangers, so make sure to subscribe. Afterwards, like this video and comment down how you felt about the update. And at the end, type your Roblox username. And upon reaching 40,000 subscribers, which we are extremely close to hitting, I will give away a few auction items and an auction gun. Winners will be picked from my video's comments. Now brothers and sisters, I wish you an amazing day on your goal to unlock everything new. Also, if you want a few VIP servers, check out mine, link in the description.